Solutions, solutions, and more solutions. What's up, 23% Nation? It's Coach D. And guys, today I'm bringing you part two of Man Chokes to Death. Now, in part one, we learned about a very unfortunate incident that took place during the 23% challenge, meaning it took place during the first seven days of the month. That being said, guys, I know that someone dying is usually a very unfortunate situation, but let's be clear that whenever something unfortunate happens, there's always a silver lining. There's always a lesson to be learned. So my intent with this series of videos is to first to understand the unfortunate incident, but more importantly, we need to get to the root of the problem. In other words, we need to learn how not to choke, <laughs> okay? It's very simple. So the aim of today's video is all about education, right? So today we're gonna talk about the definition of choking, and then we're also gonna get into a little bit of anatomy and physiology. So for those of you who are eager to learn something today, Guys, please continue to watch. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, now this is going to be part two of our video series, which ultimately will be entitled How to Help a Choking Victim. That being said, before we get into helping someone who is choking, guys, we first need to understand what choking really means and then we need to look at the body and figure out exactly what's going on when someone is choking. Okay, so when we define the word choking, here it is. It means having severe difficulty in breathing because of a constricted or obstructed throat. Now, allow me to explain this definition a little better. Guys, the whole idea behind choking is that a person cannot breathe. That's right. So simply what that means is that air cannot come from the atmosphere into the body and into the lungs. So whenever someone is choking, they're not necessarily choking because the food is in their throat they're really choking because they cannot breathe. In other words, air cannot flow from the environment into the body and into the lungs. So now that we understand the definition for what choking is, guys, let's now take a closer look at the human anatomy. All right, so here we go. Now let's understand this, that in your throat, which is right here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Guys, basically you have two tubes as we can call them, or we can call them passageways. Now, first I wanna talk about the trachea, which is also called the windpipe. Basically guys, your trachea is a passageway that transports oxygen, or we can say air, from the atmosphere to your lungs, okay? And then we have a second passageway that is called the esophagus, or we can say the food pipe, okay? So the purpose of the esophagus is basically to transport food from your mouth into your stomach. Got it? Perfect. Now, when a person is choking, basically what's happening is food, or it could be something that the person has swallowed. Now, oftentimes we, we swallow food. Sometimes it could be a coin. Sometimes it could be a little toy, <laughs> okay? Because sometimes kids play with toys and they put them in their mouths when they're not supposed to. At any rate, the object, whether it's a toy, a coin, or a piece of food, and in the case of our victim, it was a slice of pizza, okay? The food was not stuck in their esophagus. Instead, the piece of food was lodged inside of their trachea, which basically cut off his air supply. So once again, when we talk about someone choking, the food or the object 
is not caught in the esophagus is caught in the trachea which therefore prevents the flow of air from the atmosphere and into the body so essentially what happened was the small piece of pizza got lodged inside of his trachea which therefore cut off his oxygen supply therefore causing him to die of a lack of oxygen guys so when someone is choking once again they are not receiving sufficient oxygen from the atmosphere and into their bodies why because something whether it's a piece of food a coin uh, a toy or something that i haven't mentioned is stuck in the trachea and is preventing that person from breathing that's right guys so in order for us to live we must breathe we must be able to take air from the atmosphere and into our bodies whenever that process is obstructed you unfortunately can pass away which was the unfortunate incident that happened to our victim so ladies and gentlemen i hope that <clears throat> Coach D providing you with the definition as well as a little anatomy and physiology lesson helps you to understand the entire process of choking. Ladies and gentlemen of the 23% Nation, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you for listening. Please subscribe. Please like the video. And as always, write Coach D a comment, guys. I want to know what your feelings are. Now, in order to facilitate you writing a comment, I have a question. And this question basically <laughs> leads to, were you listening to what was just explained? So our question of the day is, which passageway is obstructed when choking? Is it the trachea or the esophagus? All right, so question of the day, once again, which passageway is obstructed when choking? Is it the trachea or the esophagus? All right. If you happen to forget, just simply rewind the video. If you already know the answer, then go ahead, type it. Okay, guys, this is Coach D of the 23% Challenge. Always remember, be blessed, and always remember, never forget, Coach D loves you. Take care. Goodbye.